G'day and welcome back to RC Model Reviews and the mess that is the bench. Now, ignore this stuff here, it's just something else I'm working on. Well, it's not actually part of it is what I'm working on, but I want to float an idea to you people because I want to find, get some feedback first. Beyond visual line of sight, long range FPV. A lot of people do it. I've never heard of anyone damaging any property, injuring anyone or causing any problems, except perhaps for the guy that flew his Phantom into a military helicopter over New York Harbor, but that wasn't really the kind of flying we do. We don't fly Phantoms. At least most of the people who are going to be looking at this won't fly Phantoms. I'm talking about much safer beyond visual line of sight flying. I'm talking about not flying in congested areas, not over harbours, not where there's going to be helicopters or aircraft. I'm talking about flying safely beyond visual line of sight. Now the first thing to acknowledge, and it has to be acknowledged, is in virtually every country in the world this is against the regulations. It doesn't matter that nobody's been killed and no major property damage has occurred it's still against the regulations. That's why I'm making this preliminary video because I want to sell you guys out. Now, I know a lot of the guys that do fly BVLOS, they use quite big craft, the Sky Hunter, is it? Uh, or the Believer. A lot of these planes, you know, like two meters and they have like 8,000, 16,000 milliamps of battery on board, really quite big chunks of lithium, quite heavy, you know, from two, three, four, five, six kilograms of weight. So if something did go wrong with one of these big long range models, there is a much well, there's a fairly high risk that, you know, something could, bad could happen. Someone could get hit, could hit a car or a house or, a, or heaven forbid, an aircraft or a helicopter. So um, I would like to see something safer. So what I'm suggesting to you people today is I would like to do a long range FPV project with a view on safety, making it as safe as can be, which means it has to be as small as possible, as light as possible, as inconspicuous as possible, so you don't attract anyone's attention and relatively cheap because sometimes with long range um, you've got to be prepared to lose the model if you go too far and you can't get back and you can't find it that's too bad and we have to fly low so the chances of losing signal are higher than if we we're flying up at a few thousand feet because we have to fly below 400 feet so this is what i want to float now i believe that safety trumps rules every time um, just because something is allowed doesn't mean it's safe and just because something is not allowed doesn't mean it is dangerous if you do it properly. So my proposal is I will do a project, long range FPV. When I'm talking long range, it's beyond visual line of sight. So it may only be three or four kilometers. It may not be an awfully long way, but it'll be, you know, to give people a taste of this and to get it out of their system because everyone who flies FPV wants to fly beyond visual line of sight just because they'd like to see what it's like to prove that they can do it. So I believe it's better to give them an outlet to do that safely well, you're not going to endanger anybody than to have them go out there and build a great big massive plot model and fly it high and get into real big trouble and possibly even hurt someone. So what I'd like to do is acknowledge that people are going to break the regulations. Doesn't matter what I say. I can say don't do it and people will still do it because I'm just one little voice. So I believe that in that situation you have an obligation to show people how to do it as safely as possible. The absolute safest possible way to do it, to reduce the risk to minimize the danger to anybody. And as I say, in all the time I've been flying model aircraft, I've never heard of anyone flying beyond visual line of sight who has well, a model, not a drone, but a model beyond visual line of sight. I've never heard of anybody who has caused any damage, any injury, or any deaths. So I think when done properly, it is incredibly safe. There are more people who injure themselves with propellers on the pit, you know, on the pit line at the local flying field than have injured themselves or injured anyone else with a BV loss FPV system. So with that in mind, my question to you today is should I show you how to do it safely? Should I show you the way to build a craft which is going to be minimal risk and let you get it out of your system without risking anyone else's property or safety? You tell me. It's really important. I need to know. If everyone says no, 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 you're just encouraging them, well that's fine. I will not do it. But if people say, yeah, you got a point, they're going to do it anyway, so you might as well make sure they do it safely. There we go. I don't know if the authorities will be happy with this video. If I was someone responsible for safety in the airspace, I would say this is actually a good idea because we know people are doing it. We know they're going to continue to do it. And if they're going to do that, we can't stop them. At least we'd like them to do it safely. You tell me in the comments section below this video, where my finger is pointing right now, unless you're holding things upside down, and... I will do my best to respond to those responses and we'll talk about it. And if you say go, we'll get stuck into it. In fact, I'm going to start now anyway, so that if you say go, there won't be a big delay before we get the thing in the air. There you go. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.